Yo, what's up guys? I hope you all are well. I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be discussing some ways of how I work on improving my single kick playing. I had a subscriber ask me a while back if I could demonstrate on um, how I work on my single kick. Here's the thing, I only use one exercise. One exercise, that's it, to work on my single pedal. And I'm gonna show you guys that today. It's not too complicated to remember once you actually get it down. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. You don't need any sheet music to, to practice it on a regular basis once you actually get it. Uh, you can play it over the top of your head. It's basically a loop. Before we get into the video, I wanna ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you dig this t-shirt right here, this Got Pocket t-shirt, hit the link in the description below. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, so this exercise we wanna show you guys is in the time signature of 4-4. And it's pretty simple. This is literally the only exercise that I work on. My watch again, it's like my watch goes off in every video. Anyway, um, this is pretty much the only exercise that I work on for single kick. And um, you can apply this to double kick as well, same concept. But it's in 4-4 and it's involving the kick, snare, and hat. It's a groove. You're playing quarter notes on the hats. One, two, three, four. Snares on two and four. So you got one, two, three, four. These two don't change throughout the entire exercise. So you can pretty much keep these on autopilot and not even think about it. The only thing that's changing is the kick drum. So you got one, two, three, four. You don't even have to think about that. Just keep it going. And then the kick drum, if you look at bar one, um, bar one is, is going like this on the kick drum. So you got one and a two and a three and a four and a. We'll do it one more time. One. That's bar one. Now, if you go to bar two, it's like this. E and a, E and a, E and a, E and a. One more time. Two, three, four. Now, if you look at bar number three, you can see uh, where I left the, the one out and I put a rest there. Most of the time when I practice this exercise, I usually end up playing the one on the third bar. But I took it out for the sheet music because it's, it's challenging to play you know, six notes in a row coming from bar two to bar three. So I put that little, that space there uh, just in case you guys, you know, unless you guys want to play it too. I, I usually play it because it's more challenging. So coming from bar two, it's like this. Uh, I start with bar two. E and a, E and a, E and a, E and a, one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. That's bar number three. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, or you can leave out the one. E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. And that's how it's written on the sheet. And then bar number four is played exactly like bar number two. E and, uh, E and, uh, E and, uh, E and, uh. All right, so I'm gonna play this entire exercise one more time, uh, all the way through nonstop. So you got one, two, three, four. That's the entire exercise. So the whole concept of this is, you wanna start slow, gain control over your limbs, making sure everything is sounding clean and you're on the meter and that you have control of everything and gradually increase the speed. So you wanna play this for like, at each BPM for two minutes straight, nonstop. You wanna just loop the whole exercise, nonstop for two minutes straight at each BPM. I'm not gonna do this for this video because I don't want to you know, draw this video and make it super long. So. I'm gonna play about 16 bars at a few BPMs. I'm gonna start around uh, 50 or 55, and I'm going to increase it by 10 BPM each time, uh, every 16 bars. So once again, the goal is to gain control over everything, get it to sound clean and precise, and gradually increase the speed while still staying clean and keeping control of everything. Um, so I'm gonna start real quick, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna go through it.
So guys, I know you heard at the very end that last time I went through it, I swung the groove a little bit more. Um, I would encourage you all to play, play through this exercise straight, but also swung too, because then you're, you're doing both sides. You're getting the best of both worlds at that point and you're challenging yourself. So I would encourage you to, once again, go through the entire exercise, uh, exactly how I did the whole concept straight, but then go through the entire exercise again, playing the groove and the kick swung a little bit more. Um, it's gonna be a challenge, but it, you're guaranteed to increase your speed and improve and sound more precise and more clean when doing that. So guys, just like with anything else, you have to stay consistent and you have to do this consistently in practice, uh, work on it. And you know, it's all about repetition. The more you do it, the more and the better results you're gonna get from it. The faster you're gonna get, the more clean you're gonna sound. Just stay consistent. If you only have five minutes every day to work on it, just take those five minutes and do it every single day. Um, you're gonna get the results, I promise you. I hope you all found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions for me, be sure to hit the comments below. Until next time, peace.